The new Defender is built on an all-new platform known as the D7X, the X denoting extreme. Land Rover says it's three times stronger than any of its closest rivals with regards to the body-on-frame brigade thanks to the clever combination of aluminium and strategically placed high-strength steel. The solidity of this platform allows the Defender to withstand a 7-ton upward load through the suspension, something the team did repeatedly by driving the development cars at a 25-centimeter concrete curb at 25 miles per hour. With its off-road ability, both the 90 and the 110 versions have the same approach and departure angles, 38 degrees front, 40 rear, which enables it to tackle the toughest surface. It can climb a 45 degree angle and ascend a 47 degree one. The new Defender can wade through water up to 900 millimeters deep and the electrics have been tested to IP67 standard, which means they can remain submerged in a meter of water for more than an hour without sustaining damage. The Defender has got more processing power. Unlike the old, which was best described as analog, the new Defender bristles with tech. Where updating something on the previous model would often require the judicious use of a hammer, the new Defender features over-the-air updates and a roster of tech that would make an MIT alumnus faint. At its core is a 100 megabit Ethernet backbone, which, through its dual-banked system, allows new software to be downloaded overnight in the background and activated as soon as you start the vehicle. The new Defender features a witchcraft, hold on, it's not what you think. By using a combination of the forward-facing, reversing, and side mirror cameras, the Defender can create an accurate image of your entire surroundings. The center display also features a development of the Clearview technology that allows you to see through the bonnet at what the front wheels are dealing with in your face. It's been launched in two versions. As before, the new Land Rover Defender is offered in two body types, three-door and five-door. The three-door is Defender 90, which is the short wheelbase version, and the five-door is Defender 110, which is the long wheelbase version. The Defender comes with four engines, two two-liter four-cylinder diesels, a 2.0-liter petrol, and a three-liter six-cylinder petrol, the latter featuring 48-volt mild hybridization to deliver about 400 brake horsepower. All are combined with an 8-speed ZF automatic gearbox and dual-range 4x4. With Defender, you will never get stuck anywhere because of its winch, hidden behind the front grille, can handle a maximum weight of 4,536 kilograms and pull from a distance of 45 meters. Each of the snatch points on the car are capable of handling six tons of force, something you can exert through the optional Musto belt, which can handle the same load. The Defender has an improvement in the strengthen of the tailgate. Land Rover have beefed up the hinges and brackets on the tailgate mounting point of the new Defender ensuring it can cope with the punishment of corrugation and bumps, even with the spare tire hanging off it. They're confident the sagging tailgates of well-used Defenders will be a thing of the past. The Defender gets armrests on the door for the first time. It's indicative of a major step up in comfort levels for a car hoped to appeal to a wider potential buyer base. Pinstriping of the paint from rubbing along bushes or branches could be a thing of the past with Land Rover offering a factory fit wrap in matte colors to the Defender. It's claimed to have scratch recovery properties whereby light scratches will effectively melt out with some heat such as when the car is parked in the sun. While the original wrap is fitted at the factory, Land Rover says it can be removed and replaced during the life of the car. On the inside, the new Defender will be offered with a jump seat between the two front seats, something that takes seating capacity to six. The optional jump seat sits higher than the outer front seats and is very much a temporary seat, but it's a novel retro-inspired option for those who think they may occasionally need another pew. 
The jump seat also incorporates cup holders and armrests on its backing, so it can transform into a center console when not in use as a seat. The new Defender will be offered in five, six, or seven seat layouts. For the seven seat, Land Rover calls it a five plus two, suggesting the third row is best reserved for occasional use. Six seat versions run two rows of three seats with the jump seat up front for occasional use. While it is technically possible to offer an eight-seater with a 332 configuration, engineers decided against it due to issues with exceeding weight limits. The new Defenders come with a mind-blowing 85 computer systems working in harmony. Land Rover says they can turn the off-roader into an all-terrain supercomputer capable of handling 21,000 network messages at any one time. Let's just hope none of those ones and zeros heads down the wrong path. These are a few things to know about the all-new Range Rover Defender. If you liked the video, leave a like and your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.